Hi right, guys, I thought I'd do um, another video on find the winning move. I haven't done one for a while. I've been uh, recently doing uh, quite a few live blitzes and opening videos. And uh, the other guy who runs um, the channel with me, one of my friends, he's also going to have a, a fair few videos out tomorrow. And I think he's doing some end games and tactics and game annotations and things. So yeah, I'll definitely uh, check, check them out. Okay, so back to find the winning move. This position uh, from the county is actually one from one of my games. I was playing black. And it was in the county championships, um, and this is in round. This is in round three. So my opponent is pretty strong, pretty strong player, just over 1900, and he played. I played um, rook to g8 here, applying more pressure to the vulnerable g3 pawn and now my opponent responds with rook g1 and now I play queen b6 and gradually inc uh, improving all my p pieces here queen e6 is a multi uh, purpose move putting more pressure on d4, attacking the b2 pawn and also protecting the e3, e6 pawn so now my bishop is free to improve as well by say bishop b8 and then take on h5 and now my, oppo my opponent blundered under a lot of pressure and played b3 and now this is where I want you to pause the video and try to find the winning move here for, for black how does he break through I'll give you a moment to do that okay so move that winning the game here now is you got to think about why why b3 is a bad move. What is b3 doing? B3 is obviously protecting this uh, the pawn on c3 here. So now, as it was a famous saying that goes, that with every pawn move, um, creates a new weakness. So and it's completely correct here. You know, after b3, a new weakness has appeared, and here it is. It's on c3, and now I can take on c3 with my knight, and all of a sudden, um, after queen takes c3. The knight is hanging on d4, and so not, uh, and it, it gets worse because if say queen takes queen takes c3, queen takes c3, I can just play uh, bishop takes d4, and now um, not only is um, my have I, have I just won the pawn and broke for his position, I'm also threatening to to win the exchange as well, and where well, it's completely lost. So my opponent actually played knight c2 here, so just a pawn down. But now I can, I can play queen, uh, I can play d4, and queen moves back, bishop c6, and uh, the, ga the game ends pretty shortly now. After say rook d3, knight takes, queen takes, and bishop f5, winning the exchange, and um, the game finishes a couple moves later. And um, yeah, because of the, uh, the blunder b3. But yeah, I, if you take any way, anything away from this video, I'd remember the, that every poor move creates a new weakness. And so whenever you think, whenever you see that your opponent's played a poor move, always look to see what that new weakness, uh, what that new weakness is. For example, say in this position, my opponent decided, if he decided to play a4, which he didn't, and now I take and take. Now the obviously the new weakness is now this, this, this pawn because um, it's not being protected by um by the pawn on a2 so i might play something like a5 now stopping it from advancing and now it's become a backward pawn and an easy target say after rook c8 rook c3 so this is the sort of way i want you to think and uh it, this should really help you improve in in your tournament games and just playing playing for fun and casually so i hope you enjoyed the video um please like and subscribe uh, and comment to see um if any video request, requests you may have on openings, tactics, GM games, whatever whatever you really like to watch, and I'll uh, try um, try do more videos of that. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.